We're pretty much tracking the same conditions we've seen here all week in eastern North Carolina, watching that sea breeze front starting to work its way in. Let me because of the heat and humidity starting to get some of those cumulus clouds bubbling up for us here and you can kind of see on the back side of it as far as the beaches are concerned. No problems whatsoever for us as we head on in through the day today. Uh, could there be a spotty shower sprinkle? It's possible no more than a five minute shower at all. And there's that live look in uh, Jacksonville Freedom Fountain for us this afternoon watching those southwesterly breezes. You'll notice those cumulus clouds not really getting a whole lot of height just yet. But again, the chance is there for an isolated shower or thunder shower. Already, though, just shy of that 90 degree mark in a lot of locations of the Windsor were right at 90. And on the back side of that sea breeze front, we're holding those temperatures into the mid 80s. But it's not just the heat, it's the humidity. Feels like 105 in Windsor, just shy of 100 in a lot of spots for us here. We're seeing it today. We're seeing that same conditions for us tomorrow. But things will change by the weekend. There's those southwesterly winds continuing to keep us on the warm and muggy side. So we'll add a couple more degrees from where we are right now. Low to maybe even some mid 90s. Not out of the question for Kenston, Greenville, Williamson, Windsor. Talking about temps in the upper 80s at the beaches. We're falling back down into the 70s as we head overnight tonight. Warm, muggy conditions in store for us as we go on through time. But this is going to change it. This great stretch of weather we've had all this week as far as lots of sunshine, just isolated showers and thunder showers around that changes by Sunday with that front sliding in here. Now again, we notice again could be an isolated shower, thunder shower as we head on in through today or even tomorrow, probably more isolated in nature tomorrow. But by late tomorrow evening, we'll watch a dying line kind of maybe get into Pitt, Martin, Bertie County, our western areas west of Highway 258. Now, as we start off the day on Sunday, we'll see kind of a mixture of clouds and sun. More sunshine though for the afternoon, but notice by dinner time, those showers and storms ahead of that front are starting to move in from northwest to southeast and they'll sweep towards the coast. And that could give us some pretty good soaking rainfall, more than we've seen in the last couple weeks in store for us here. You'll notice some of that heavier rainfall really starting to come down in the evening hours on Saturday, on Sunday rather, going into Monday morning. Could be looking at an inch or more of rainfall. Also watching some minor flooding on the Noose River in Kinston, about a half a foot above uh, flood stage for us here. Nothing all that much that would exacerbate that. More showers and storms in here on Monday. Much cloud cover and cooler temperatures. And then eventually we'll back to this summertime pattern with isolated afternoon showers and storms by the middle of the week.